Okay, so got my package in yesterday. Uh, USPS in it. That thing packaged real well. So I'll let you guys in on a, a little project. Um, I, I'm working on, I got in touch with Brennan from sparksmith.com. You guys can see they sent me some goodies, little decals. There's the information. That's Brennan Cunningham, owner. Um, they do LED, HID lighting. And this is some of the coolest high quality lighting that I've seen as far as like accent. These are super bright and they are white. They're not like RGB white, they're white. And uh, we're gonna do some grill mods. There are four of them, uh, but you can, uh, you can use two and I'll give you an idea in the video ahead of what I plan for this project for legend. All right, stay tuned guys. All right guys, we have opened, opened these up. Very nice, hard, still flexible plastic, but it's not like the rubber ones that you get off of eBay. It's got the wire. It's got a red, black, and yellow. And uh, those will be wired up. Ground is black, red is 12 volt and yellow will go to the um, parking lights or switched. All right, so we'll come right over here. And where I had the, I guess the novelty Knight Rider light inside there, you guys can see on some of my videos. I didn't have it on there long. I just uh, mounted it up in there and now I've got to see how to mount this inside that so it'll light up bright white so it'll be just like one of the uh led light bars it's gonna be pretty neat and it'll accent the headlights really well when they the outer bands are white so it'll go with that i'm only going to use two on the ford grill but i will show you on the factory grill that you can use four and i'll i'll show you that all right guys um for this mod um it's unfortunately it's going to require having to remove the grill because there's just not enough room for your fingers to work and get it put in there correctly i mean yeah you could probably do something to shove it up in there and uh i'm just not one for doing things half ass so um we're gonna remove the grill and if you guys saw the raptor grill installation you'll know just use a small screwdriver and that's a um, door pin puller and you remove a lot of this to this panel then you've got other um, bolts also we'll have to pull these back and uh take the bolts out of there and take the whole grill off to actually do it right so it's not hard it just takes an uh, hour to two hours of your time before you actually get in there to mounting those in those openings and it will really look custom when we're done okay guys i brought it inside it's a little cold outside but uh you have to separate your raptor grill from the factory piece uh, and if you installed a Raptor grill, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about because you have to access this area. And with these pieces, they give you a sticky back uh, because it is a universal piece, but it will not help us in this application because obviously there's nothing back here to stick onto. So you can just uh, pull that off here shortly. But basically they give us some really good uh holes right here some really good much needed holes for universal mounting so uh, i'm not sure what i'm gonna do yet so just stay tuned we're gonna try to um, possibly drill a small hole do a zip tie 
or something. We're gonna we're gonna make it mount, but not sure how at the moment. Okay, guys, I've got it mounted. As you can see in this opening, here's where it is. Haven't got to getting it down in here yet, but I figured there was nowhere for the mounting tabs to mount up on this application and everything's reversed from what I need. Um, and that's just because it's a unique application on a Raptor grill. Now, if you put it on a factory grill, it may have the, see that's sticky right here. I went ahead and pulled the red tape off that's sticky, but it, it really serves no purpose. Uh, but on a factory grill, it may, it may just sit right in there and uh, hang on. And I'll give you guys a, an idea of what I'm talking about on a factory application. All right, here is the factory grill. And you see these, you may just be able to push them in and have it stick right there or make you a ABS black piece that goes there and sticks on it. So probably a lot easier on a factory grill than the Raptor style. But needless to say, we're gonna make it work with 3M double-sided tape. It fits exactly over the opening. It doesn't go through, it fits right down on there. And what we're gonna do is cut, just like I've cut this one, we're gonna put several over this and kind of give you an idea before we get done. Ooh, as you can see, right there. Okay, so you'll be able to see the light through. And I like the, the idea of this 3M, and this is the gray style, it's very tacky, so it won't just fly off going down the road. I'm gonna secure it in several spots. Okay, so I wired, or I pushed the wire up against this double-sided tape. Sticks really good, it's tacky. And like I said, don't use anything but the gray. That's the sort of industrial strength. Um, so come here, I've cut both to length, black to black, red to red, and yellow to yellow, and we're going to extend the wires on out uh, using, they supplied some really neat hardware or uh, just butt connectors basically. Uh, and there's the screws that if you wanted to use on the ends where you can mount them on your vehicle, uh, that'll work for you. It didn't work for my application right here, but they supply everything that you possibly could need. All right, I came outside of just, actually just sit the grill, or set the grill up. It's not even mounted. But I did want to get a, a good shot. Oh yeah, man, looks like they were, were made there. Can't wait to see the finished result. Stay tuned. Okay guys, it's all finished. You can, well, there's a glare on the camera, but you can see the lights in the two openings. They're clear versus the dark surroundings. Um, I did not wire it into my headlights. And the reason being is that uh, treat them just like fog lamps, that I've got a switch inside the cab that I will turn on and it will, um, it will come on with the switch. So uh, that way, you know, it's, it's up to you. You can wire it into your parking lights. Um, they give you the option to do that, or uh, really it's however you want to do it. But uh, I just don't like going down the road with bright lights on the front of the truck. You know how some guys do with LED uh, fog lamps and stuff. It really blinds everybody. And uh, I don't want to be like it. I, I love that look uh, for the cruise ends and the shows and uh, I'll show you a shot after dark. Okay guys, got them hooked up. All right, turn them on. Oh yeah. And it goes exactly with the headlights. As you can see, the same 
high intensity is the headlights. It's uh, very bright, very bright. So we'll get a shot after dark here shortly. There we go. Those things are bright too. You saw them cycle. They are really close to what the headlights put out. It's just the glare that makes makes them look a different color in live out here. They're the exact same color as the headlight. guys gonna finish up the video inside in my home office uh, mainly because it's 17 degrees outside tonight and I couldn't hardly hold the camera much less talk it was freezing so okay if you guys want to um, get in touch with the company uh, look right here is sparksmith.com I know it's probably showing it backwards on the camera but regardless, uh, Brennan is the owner and you talk to him, he can send you out several different sizes. I don't know if you can see them here, six inch, nine inch, 11 and 14. These are the universal grill bars and uh, they're completely waterproof and high quality, I can tell you that. So I got the four pack so they, they come in twos, but I got four of them because I'll show you uh, this one guy did to his truck. Uh, really neat setup. But I, with the uh, Raptor grill, I could only use two. So I'm going to uh, reach back out to Brennan and find out. Um, I'm sure he won't have an issue uh, with me offering one of these at, at the 1,000 subscriber giveaway. Uh, what we're gonna do I'm gonna uh, these are going home with one of you guys as far as uh, when I reach 1,000 subscribers now that's previous subscribers new subscribers uh, everybody will go into a pot and some lucky winner will receive these so okay guys that's it if you guys want to purchase these like I said, uh, contact Brandon at sparksmith.com. And not only do they have these, they've got wheel lights, uh, uh, was it rock lights? They, they've got a ton of different products, not just limited to this. But this was one mod that I wanted to really uh, pursue on mine. And, you know, I'm beyond happy with it. So, uh, they're, they're real high quality stuff. All right, guys, that's going to do it for the video tonight. If you have any questions, reach out to me in the comments. I'll talk to you guys soon. I'm going to go get warm later.